I was a founding member of the Actors Studio, and, and Lee Strasberg was not in it. And I say to my friends, the Eli Wallach people were there, I said, Lee had nothing to do with it. It was Cheryl Crawford, Elia Kazan, and Bobby Lewis, and Dorothy Willard. That's the name they I don't were, know. They, that, they were the founders. Mm -hmm. Carl Mould and Bill Prince and I went in, and Bobby Lewis was sitting there and explained what the Actors Studio was about. It wasn't going to cost us any money. And we'd get together and we'd work and work on scenes and talk about acting. And, and there would be two groups, Bobby Lewis's part as the working actors and Kazan's with the up and coming actors, you know, who were later, some of them became quite big stars. Mm -hmm. And uh, Carl and Bill Prince and I outside said, what have we got to lose? Yeah, well, we'll do it. So I, I, I went for a couple of years and they had a dance class and a Sokolov and I wanted that body work. They didn't take on voice or speech. I urged them to do that. They didn't do it, but I went privately uh, on my own. To individual teachers or other schools? or Well, at one time I was going to three, I was working on my voice and I was going to three different teachers at the same time, different, not, a, not in the same day, of course. For one thing is to build a voice and to build a, a sense of uh, melody and uh, then clarity. Tony Randall and I went, went to a guy, Henry Jacoby, who's no longer teaching, and uh, we were both in musicals. We never lost our voices, but people who were professional singers would lose their voices and not go on. They'd have to have dance they'd go on because of the way we developed our voices, that it is for endurance and strength. But uh, for a singer, it's for the beautiful sound, you know, and, uh, and if it got a little raspy, oh, they, oh, I can't perform tonight. You know, opera singers are like that. They cancel at the last minute. <laughs> you have it, it severed your attachment to the actor studio after a few years. So. No, I took an, um, an unlimited leave of absence or something like that because uh, I had contributed quite a bit. We uh, used to do scenes there and uh, improvisations and so forth. But I was very busy at the time uh, in theater and television and movies. And it just became impractical for me to have a relationship with a, the with a group that I would see, you know, mm -hmm. once a month or once every two months or so on. So I just took an indefinite leave of absence. I still get their mailings.